fatherhood. Just think about that word, fatherhood. Just because you can have a child does not make you a father. Raising a child rightly makes you a father. Makes you a good father when you take responsibilities. That's right. Responsibility comes along with fatherhood. You know what I'm saying? Going to work every day, if necessary, to take care of those children that you've been blessed with by God. Not running off and leaving mom alone to do it by themselves. I'm talking about fatherhood. The responsibilities of saying yes. The responsibility of being there when mom needs that support to say no. Fatherhood. When you don't like what you got to do when it comes to discipline. Now in love, not anger, but in love, that's fatherhood. That's responsibility. Hey, I'm gonna take, how about a hug when they need it? Are you there for that? I understand that there's only one thing worse than not having a father in the home. And that is to have a father in the home that does not have time for the child in that home. Oh, I'm just working so they can have what I never had. I don't want my children to have to do without those things that, you know, I had to do without. Let me say something to you. Did you not having them make you such a bad person? You not having them made you pretty good, made you learn about responsibility, made you learn about having respect for what you got and what you owned. Fatherhood. Fatherhood is what I'm talking about here in America today. There's not very much going on. We got a whole bunch of boys that's making noise. We don't have very many men that are making music in the home. But kids want to be there, not waiting to run away and get away and go on the streets, sell their bodies. Fatherhood. That's what we need in America today. And I'm here to tell you in your face, be a father. I want to talk to you about the effects of fatherless homes. Do you think a father missing in the home is a problem? Or do you think it's not? There's a balance. But if the father's missing, I'm going to give you some stats. Not coming from me. I'm going to give them to you. I want to read them to you. 63% of youth suicide are from fatherless homes. 63%. 80% of rapists with anger problems come from fatherless homes. Children with fathers who are involved, let's check this out, 70% are less likely to drop out of school. 70% of fathers that's involved are less likely to drop out of school. Now look at this one. 75% of all adolescent patients in chemical abuse centers are from fatherless homes. 75%. Hold on to your hat. I got some more. I know you're, I know you're sweating right now. Because you don't want to hear these, but I'm going to give them to you. Daughters of single parents without a father involved are 53% more likely to marry as teenagers. 711%, that's right, Look, 711% are more likely to have children as teenagers. And 164% more likely to have a premarital relationship and 92% more likely to get divorced even if they do get married. 90% of homeless and runaway children are from fatherless homes. Is that enough to make you up? I'm not through yet. 71% of pregnant teenagers like a father. Did you hear that? 71% of pregnancies are from fatherless homes. Do you think not having a father in the home affects our next generation?